I'm Tana Frederick. I'm an actress. Are you aware? Are you aware that by turning off your computers, even for an hour a day, say when you step out to lunch from the office, you can help to save the environment? Also at night, it's so important to turn your computers off. This is something I learned, I think, only a year ago. I think there was a fallacy. Somebody had told me along the way that by leaving your computers on, it was the equivalent of pl plugging a, a light of um, a strand of Christmas lights in. But um, I never realized until I went through all the information provided by Green IT Week that it actually produces a huge amount of CO2 emissions and is incredibly taxing on the environment. So that's my big tip, turn off your computers. Um, I have been a, a proponent of saving the environment, of course, for a long time and environmental awareness. I co-founded um, a benefit with P.T. Townend called Project Save Our Surf. It's also with Sean Thompson. So the three of us kind of came together because I'm, being, I'm a surfer myself and um, surf in the nastiest, dirtiest waters here in Santa Monica. I'm sure Australian waters are much cleaner and better. But we had to do something about cleaning, it up, cleaning up the California coastlines. And so for three years now, we've had a surf Surfathon. Um, this year it's Surf 24 over International Surfing Days on June 19th and 20th. It's a 24 hour surfing um, extravaganza where the surfers are being asked to give all their time to, to staying in the water and, and get pledges from people. So um, I, I guess it kind of stemmed from, from not just from there, I mean as a, as a kid too we were very, I grew up in Iowa and we came from a farming background which we were always very conscientious of the environment and you know we we, we reaped our benefits from the environment so what we put into the environment was what we got out of it so we were very we were very correct in in you know making sure saving energy making sure that we didn't use too many pesticides um, you know crop rotation just being careful with with you know our, our what was giving what was sustaining us growing up so um, so I think green IT week is just absolutely incredible because so now we've sort of gotten used to recycling bottles and cans and I mean that's I mean there's fifth graders who do that now and, and separating the recyclables at home but the next level because we are so technologically advanced and there's so much technology is learning to manage that and, and learning to, to take down our, our um, electronic waste as well as uh, using the, the computers and all of the technology that we have to help the environment. And so I personally am really excited about learning um, what I can do to, you know, through, through computers and through our technology to, to help the environment because I believe that our technology could be a great asset. I guess I've, been, I've kind of been um, ocean-centric and um, you know, as being an environmentalist, you can get you can get put into these little pockets of, you know, what your focus is because there's just so much to try to help. There's so much to try to conquer. But, but, um, but I didn't realize how much. I mean, even driving to this building, there are huge buildings in Century City. And when I was looking at them, thinking now because of the information that you provided about how how many computers are being used, how much el electricity is being is being used right now for all every single computer and every single office in these huge gargantuan buildings and how much CO2 is being emitted and how is that adding to the greenhouse effect and you know where are those computers going if, if they're all upgraded you know or if, if they're being thrown out and replaced one every three years you know where is that waste going and um, and it's kind of terrifying to me it's a little terrifying, especially the, the pictures that I looked at on the internet of, um, you know, all of the waste and, and where, where are we going to put it. Uh, so it's scary. It's scary. By the simplicity of just knowing little tiny pieces of information that can help, um, which is what we focus on when we when we do water conservation too. You know, the fact of fixing leaky faucets while 
turn off your computers. Um, it's an easy thing to do. Just turn it off at night and turn it on in the morning. When you're not busy and you leave the house, turn off your computers. You know, simple things like that really help and people don't realize how much tiny, simple things that they change in their, and modify in their everyday life can create a huge, a huge result and, um, and be incredibly beneficial to the environment. I'm completely 100% on board. I want to know more now. I want to know more about what I can do, um, what I can teach other people you know, about it because I feel like um, it's a new subject for me. And um, technology is kind of a new subject for all of us, you know? And so uh, I really want to figure out how I can, I can make the most of this, this wonderful piece of equipment sitting in front of me that has a lot of, um, you know, dangerous substances within it, but also is a very precious substance that we are very lucky to use, how to use, utilize it to help the environment, but also how to, to not waste it so that I'm contributing to the problems in the environment. And uh, it's, it's going to be a great week. I, I wish the best to everybody, and I encourage everyone to get in there and learn about even the small things that can be done on a daily basis to, to help our environment.